Next in the tank is a more sophisticated version of a traditional snack. Hi, sharks. My name is Keisha Jeremy, and my company is Sanaya Applesauce. I'm asking for $150,000 for 15% in my company. Now, sharks, have you ever noticed that the entire applesauce industry has been completely ignoring us? They're focused on eight-year-olds, and they're focused on 80-year-olds, and they're leaving a ton of money on the table. Because think about it. If you're an adult and you're looking for applesauce on shelves, the options are really slim. Basically, they've been asking us for, to settle for baby food all these years. Baby food flavors, baby food consistency, and now pouches. Sharks, I am a grown woman. I am not doing pouches. And so I finally decided to take matters into my own hands. Introducing Sanaya. I've taken organic green apples and curated six island-inspired flavors. I've also done something else that no one else has thought of. In every jar, you'll find baked apple wedges. Mm. Today, you're meeting the woman who's about to take the entire applesauce category uh -huh. by storm. <laughs> when the yogurt industry finally started listening to adults and gave them a snack that they actually deserve, that $8 billion category turned into $125 billion. So what I'm about to do is take these green apples and turn them into billions of green dollars. Who's coming with me? Hmm. So I also have some samples for you. Please, Hopefully I've tempted you. you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I love applesauce. Thank you. So these are four of our six flavors. Thank you. Thanks, Keisha. Appreciate it. The guava's good. Guava, yep. The plain apple's delicious. Un the unsweetened oh, yeah, version. Good. It doesn't taste processed. Right. And are you in the market today, or is this brand new? So this is, so we just launched in July. We did a test market for six months, direct to consumer. And what are your sales today? So we achieved $40,000 of sales in that six month test pilot. Are people buying it because they like the flavor, or do you see it as a health food? Well, they're buying it because a lot of people are looking for plant-based, right? They're looking to move away from dairy, and it's vegan. Vegans actually bake with applesauce instead of eggs. Keisha, how do you sell it, and what is the cost? The glass jar is going to be our product on Amazon Prime. It's going to be sold as a four-pack of flavors. The glass jar is a dollar three, and three ninety-nine per jar to. Right, retail. so three ninety nine times four, so effectively sixteen dollars at right. retail, and your cost is four dollars and twelve cents. Is right. that not expensive for applesauce? So again, you know, we're not comparing ourselves to Mott's. As I mentioned in the opening, this is essentially what Chobani did with yogurt. Right, they took a category that was pretty sleepy, and they elevated the flavors, they elevated the positioning, they elevated the packaging. We just spent the last forty eight hours at the IDDBA conference or trade show. And we came back with close to $35 million in projected revenue based on interest. Oh, please, what? I'm not buying it, Keisha. I'll tell, well, I'll tell wait, you. Wait, wait. Yeah, tell Explain us how. I'll tell you how. Hang on what. a second. I'll tell you. Give her I'll a tell chance. you. Give her a chance. I'll tell you. So Starbucks, Whole Foods, Sam's Club, BJ's, Kroger's, literally buyers sending other buyers to us. They were referring They're to us at the show. They're not giving you orders, right? Well, it's not a it's not an order taking conference, but before the trade show, we'd already had a commitment with Whole Foods. A test with Whole Foods? Whole Foods in Harlem. So one store. One store. What I heard was thirty five million dollars. Yeah. So how did you get there? How do you so why do you say if, that? If we look at because everything was going great till sure. I heard that. So w what happened basically is we had a number of buyers come to us. Did Let you me, get a firm order from anybody? We have not received firm orders from them, but they. But what we received is basically confirmed interest. They came by, they basically said, no one else is doing this. This immediately belongs in our refrigerated section. Actually, I want to show you the pictures oh, of what they, so this is They're what, putting it into a yogurt oh, cup, that's not different. a glass that, that's jar. Different. Yeah, could you, could we see sure. that? Oh, so this is oh. a new product. So this is the product that we've been talking That's to grocers about. That's a better idea. That's a better about. idea. Still, still the same flavors. Keisha, what's well, your background? I'm currently global head of HR for one of the largest publishing companies in the country. Well, that's Which related. One? Which, Which one? one? Uh, News Corp, News Corporation. Oh, wow, um, So impressive. I've been there for six years. And you pull this off on the side? And I've been doing it, I, but I also, have, uh, I've been building high performance teams for 20 years. And so I immediately knew that I needed to build a team to do this. So you're and not gonna go full time into this? 
Well, at this moment, it doesn't make sense for me to be full time, but I have a COO who literally is minutes away from our production plan, and this is his full time job. So did you raise a lot of money, Keisha? It sounds expensive. I, I have been self funding it so far. Two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Wow, is what I've spent so far. It on seems it. to me like you got very far for two hundred fifty thousand yeah. dollars. This product versus this product. What what's your plan for this? Yeah. The glass jars will be on Amazon Prime in two weeks. That's horrible. Or you're okay. launching that. The glass jars in two weeks on Amazon Why Prime. Why are you, the shipping cost is gonna be enormous. The, so the, on, the weight of the glass is the same as the liquid inside. Well, we're able to make close to 50% margins on the glass. Margins what will the are 46%. Cost of this be? If this this one... is 63 cents to make. Oh. 63 cents to make. But to sell. To sell will be a um, dollar, a dollar to wholesale, and then we're thinking a dollar seventy-nine. This is the most expensive applesauce ever sold in America. I, I guess what I would respond to in that is, the person who buys Mott's today is not really our consumer. So th th here's the problem I'm having. I see where you're going. Right. Right. Create a new category. This is going to be hard, if not impossible, to sell because you're not an established brand. Now, this, on the other hand, if it's a grab and go, why are you complicating it with this? Well, so we. This is where we started. For me, it's really super basic. It's how popular is applesauce for adults? I'm not really an applesauce fan. You know, after 10 seasons sitting here, going out on a person's dream is never easy. Mm -hmm. And it pains me to sit here and say, but I'm out. That's fine. I, I respect that. Keisha, I have to tell you, your presentation was very impressive until we got to the trade show. OK. When you confuse interest with actual orders, it leaves me with doubt. It's just not for me. Okay. I'm out. Okay. Thank I you. I respect that. Thank you. I happen to think uh, both of your products are great for a lot of reasons. I don't think your price is out of line. Your retail is two bucks. That's about right with yep. everything else on the shelf. I thought the flavor was phenomenal and the texture so creamy and delicious. Office? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The major point is you're definitely a dreamer. But you can't justify the dream, and that's very disturbing. Hmm. I mean, the numbers you throw out, I can't believe each time you give an explanation how you're going to get there. OK. But there are businesses where it's worth taking a flyer on. Yeah. You could be the next big thing, but the kind of offer I'd have to make you, I'm afraid I'd insult you. Would any offer insult you at this point? I don't think any offer would insult right. me. I'm curious to see what you think the valuation then I, is. I would give you $150,000, but I would have to get at least 75%. Two sharks are out. Barbara is interested in Keisha's gourmet applesauce, Sanaya, but she wants a huge chunk of her company. I would give you $150,000, but I would have to get at least 75%. By the way, did that insult you? Didn't insult me. It was just interesting. OK. Yeah. Um, uh, well said. Would you like to accept my offer? No, that, that's not an offer that we can take. Thank you. I'm out. We've been through this. We've all looked at food products. I'm not saying you're wrong, but I'm saying it's risky. It really is risky. And you're not full time, which I got to tell you really bothers me. If you really believe this, you'd quit your job and you'd be telling me that you don't sleep on weekends. I don't sleep on weekends, <laughs> but I'm also the breadwinner and it's not an option for everyone. No, yeah, I, it's not I get an it. Option but, for everyone. You know, it's, yeah, it, not everybody can do that. But there's a difference. I can invest in an entrepreneur that does. I'm out. How much cash do you have in bank? So I have set aside uh, close to $500,000 for the business, as I'm self-funding it right now. So you've put in 250 already, and you have another 250 of your savings. Correct. Look, you have a presence about you. You know this. You have a power about you. What I haven't been convinced of is that you're an entrepreneur. I get your bread winner. You have those responsibilities. That's always a push-pull that people have. But at the same time, we all were broke. I'm not convinced. Here's what I can tell you. I didn't have to start the business. If I did not see the market opportunity, I would not put my life savings into it. I do work around the clock. It is definitely not a part-time gig in the way that, that you've described it. Well, you do work somewhere else. I do work somewhere else, but part-time sounds like you're checking in and checking out. Yes, it does. Well, I um, think it is. But I also <laughs> think that 
because it couldn't be my full-time job right out of the gate, I put a team in place. That's great. You're an owner. From a risk profile, why aren't you throwing everything into this? I cannot afford to. Look, I think that's so unfair. Cry me a river. You think, think the world is fair? And do doing it. She's not I, working full time. I started my first company. I wanted to be all in. You know what? I had a mortgage. I had a child at home. I didn't have that choice. Kumbaya. So I had to work 24 hours a day. She's not asking for a kumbaya. She's just okay. saying she has a family to support. She's Entrepreneurs doing Entrepreneurs coming here every day. They're full time, 110 okay, percent. Okay, so why are you like, tearing so, up? Tell me. Is there like da, 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 da. why are you tearing up? Um. There are, there are, I take care of so many people financially. Um, this is the first thing I've ever done for myself. And I would never squander uh, the commitments that I have to family members if I didn't believe in it. Who is it that relies on you? Uh, my mom, my dad, my siblings. Um, I'm the person who made it. So really, you're absolutely right to keep your job yeah. and take care of the people that you're taking care of and fulfill your dream on the side. You're impressive. And even though I, I think you're missing a few things, <laughs> I think that um, my team can provide it, so I'll make you an offer. Thank you. Thank um, you. I'll give you the 150K, but I want 25%. I'm comfortable doing that. Whoa. Thank you. He's my hero. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate, I appreciate it. it. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm very excited. Congrats, Keisha. Congrats, Keisha. That's so And I want to make you focus. <laughs> Keisha, I want to make you focus on this. Yes, I got it. Glass, I heard okay? that loud and clear. Okay, okay. I heard that. We'll make it work.